Man, in today's video, I wanna take some time and talk to you about some things because it's evident, very evident, that somebody's doing some extreme lying. Let's talk about it. What's going on Closer to God Ministries? Glory to the Most High, Yah Shalom, for this magnificent day that he has made. Today, we're gonna educate, we're gonna teach, man, and we're gonna, you know, with the utmost reverence, man, I'm gonna open your hearts, I'm gonna open your eyes. If you have ears that are inclined to listen and hear, you know, I challenge you to go back and verify what I'm saying if you are a child of God. If you're somebody watching this for entertainment, you're not a child of God, then this doesn't really pertain to you. But even the fact of if you consider yourself a child of God, there should be a spirit of obedience and submission to the Most High Yah in you. I'm going to say some things that go against the grain of how you have been conditioned. When we look at statistics of how many believers actually read their Bible, that number is alarming. It's very low. Today, I'm gonna talk about some stuff that possibly will enrage you, will possibly piss you off, but before you act out of emotions, I want you to go back and verify what I'm saying so you can be the deciding factor. Am I lying or are they lying? First opening statement that I wanna make is you have very few people that believe in obeying the teachings of the Most High Yah and walking in the way of Yahshua HaMashiach. Very few people, let me, let me break this down, layman style. You have very few people that believe in the teachings of God and walking in the way of Jesus Christ. Let me break that down for those of you who are unstudied. Here's what chances are you know people that are highly religious. Chances are got a lot of education in theology, the study of religion. But when it comes to following the teachings of the Most High Yah and walking in the way of Yahshua HaMashiach, you will realize that possibly your religious leader, they do a lot of deflecting. They do a lot of rejecting where they can't use scripture to answer. They answer with feelings and emotions and they answer with theology. There are certain things that people are teaching that are the way of the heathen. You got to think either they're teaching to follow the law, statutes and the commandments or they're not. So in doing this, they reject a lot of what Bible says. They deflect a lot of what Bible says. They insert concepts of theology that are found nowhere in Bible. Bible college will teach you about major and minor prophets. Okay, sounds pretty good in a unborn again spirit in a person who is high-minded in education, but when we look at the Bible to break that tie, it don't say nowhere in there that there's major and minor prophets. But man has gone to great lengths to get you away from Bible and to get you to focus on all these other concepts. Here we go. Another one that they teach is Trinity, is oneness, okay? I need book, chapter, and verse where you can find that in where these words are in the Bible. Even if you want to go back into the Hebrew and the Greek, strong translations, you're not going to find this stuff in the Bible. Now, you will find scriptures that they have taken and then came up with a concept. But what is the need for all of these far-fetched concepts if we're not even gonna obey what's in there already. So let's 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 figure out who's lying. Chances are 
you have been conditioned by a religious leader and told that Sunday is the day of worship, okay? If you open up your calendar, open up your phone, calendar on your phone, and I want you to start all the way from the complete left, you'll realize that it starts on Sunday, being day one. I'm not talking about the work week, the business week, the corporate week. I'm talking about just counting it. We're keeping this keeping this Barney style, purple suit and yellow toenails. You will see that the start of the week, day one, is on Sunday. And we count seven days. You start to see that seven days from Sunday is Saturday. Oh, I can prove in Bible that the Sabbath is the seventh day, which is a rest day, the Sabbath day. Religious leaders, I don't think you can provide book, chapter, and verse where it says Sunday. But I know for a fact, Sabbath is all over that Bible. And we can use just, like I said, simple logic. Counting them days and you start to see. Chances are you're not learning about Sabbath. You're learning about Sunday, giving two and a half hours on Sunday versus the Sabbath of giving a whole day from Friday sundown to Saturday evening sundown. I can prove that with Bible. You start to realize, again, you will start to realize if you sit in some of these places, these highly religious places, if you start to ask questions, they'll run you up out of there. And you're going to have some valid questions that will arise if you are doing what the Most High Yah has asked, told you to study the word for yourself so you can find yourself approved. You'll realize a lot of what is taught lines up with this Roman type of society we live in. There's a lot of statues. There's a lot of idolatry. That's the way of the pagans. That's the way of the Romans. That's the way of the heathen. Bible tells us to abstain from that. Chances are you might have some of these statues, some of these uh, perverted statues in your place, but I can point in scripture where it talks about don't even make, you know, statues, graven images, idols, here we go again. Let me give you some more while, we, while we're peeling this back. Chances are, chances are when your religious leader gets to certain scriptures, this is when they start rejecting and deflecting. When they start talking about tattoos, they say things like, you know what? That's not, that's not for us. That was for people of the Bible. But I can, I can show you and prove that it is for children of God to obey that. They're going to get you further away from the Bible. They don't want nothing to do with that. They don't have a spirit of obedience in them. When it comes to the dietary laws of the Bible, another way you know somebody's lying, you can find in the Bible all in there, especially if we look at a King James Version 1611, that the King James Version that you possibly have was translated out of. 1611 King James includes the Apocryphers. Chances are you start asking your doggone religious leader about their Apocryphers and they're gonna tell you, oh, it's not important. You'll read, you'll realize in those scriptures that have been removed and even in the version of King James that you have, it still outlines the dietary laws for children of God, chances are they're telling you, you can eat whatever you want. Eat whatever you want. Chances are when you're sick, they're not even laying hands, not even praying on you because they haven't taught you in a spirit of obedience. You have to have that spirit in you. Chances are you celebrate all the holidays and your religious leader tells you to celebrate and it's okay to celebrate all these holidays of the pagans, of the heathen, Roman Catholic Church, I can point back to Bible telling you where it talks about celebrating the feast days. It's a biblical biblical reference for that. There's book, chapter, verse, and scripture. Chances are, when we look at Christmas, shouldn't be shocking if you study your Bible that Christmas or the birth 
or celebrating the birth of Yahshua HaMashiach is, is nowhere in there where it tells us to, to partake in this as a holiday or a celebration. Same thing with Easter, same thing with Halloween. You start to realize, you start to realize that some lies are being told. Everything that I'm giving you, you can prove with Bible. Everything that they have you doing ain't nowhere in the Bible. When it comes to some of these holidays, you're gonna see that they have gone away from what Bible says and have, have got you into something that's far-fetched theology, ideology, concepts, tradition of man, they've taken what was the resurrection, what was Passover in the Bible, turned it into Easter. Got a bunny, popping out eggs, filled with candy, that don't even add up. Christmas, not even in the Bible. You got a Caucasian man with a big beard, big belly, big old bag of toys coming down your chimney Riding off on some reindeer, ain't none of that even true. Chances are they, they promote things like Halloween, which is rooted in evil. Look at the origins of it. Nowhere in the Bible does it tell us to celebrate that, but I can prove where it tells you to abstain from the appearance of evil. I told you guys, chances are you're being lied to. It's very rare that you meet somebody that is teaching in the ways of the Most High Yah and is walking in the ways of Yahshua HaMashiach. The reason you're being lied to, let me put it like this. The reason you're being lied to is if somebody is not obedient or walking in the ways of Yahshua HaMashiach, they're not gonna teach you anything about obedience because they don't live it. It's kind of hard for somebody to teach obedience when you can look with your own two eyes and see that that spirit is not in them. Think about spending four to eight years in Bible college or colleges learning about religion, learning about history, learning about theology, all of this stuff. And this whole time, you've known the truth. Think about you've made a name for yourself in religion. And then you get asked the question by one of your congregation members, you know, how come we don't, how come you don't teach the Sabbath? Should we be celebrating or worshiping on the Sabbath. That's a hard point for somebody that's heavily invested in religion. But if you're not heavily invested in religion and you're willing to come out of her, my people, then you'll say, Bible says all day that we should be worshiping on the Sabbath. But if you love the money, if you love the way of the heathen, you love the way of the pagan. You love the way of the world. Chances are you're gonna stick with that lie and you're gonna keep going. You're gonna be 10 toes down in a lie. Think about how many people, let me show you why it's so rare. Think about how many people, if the pastor came out and said, hey, you know what? We're no longer gonna be open on Sunday. We're gonna start doing the Sabbath, a Sabbath service and that's it day of rest. You come, you learn, you get some teaching, get some educating about obedience, about walking in the ways of Yahshua HaMashiach. And then you go home, you're not going out, you're not causing anybody to work, you're not kindling anger. Think about how many people would not show up. Let me tell you why. Celebrating on the Sabbath has never been convenient. It's easy to do something that the Bible doesn't even tell you to do or command you to do by spending two hours on Sunday in church. It's easy because you've already had your Friday night. You've already had your Saturday to go rip and run the world because you've been caught up in the rigmarole of going to work Monday through Friday. So you're like, oh man, I ain't worked all week. Now the weekend is my time. But you start to realize you get away from a lot of sin when you start worshiping on the Sabbath day because it means you gotta be still. It means you have to be learning and studying the word of God. Think about, like I said, how many people would actually, you know, continue showing up. You mean to tell me that I'm supposed to stay in the house from Friday night, from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown? I can't go to the club, I can't go to the movies, I can't go out drinking? You start to realize that that's where a lot of the deflection and the rejection comes from. I wanna be out doing 
everything that the Most High Yah has already commanded me not to do. Somebody's telling a lie. I will let you, you know, just with the little bit that I gave you, I'll let you determine who's lying and who is who is truly teaching and obedience and biblical truth, walking in the ways of Yahshua HaMashiach. And here's the difference. If you go back and verify this for yourself from Genesis to Revelations, even the apocryphers, the missing books, you gonna realize you got a choice to make. Either you're not as serious as you thought you were and you're just getting your ears tickled, you just wanna be comfortable, you just wanna be lukewarm, or either you're gonna be 10 toes down about walking in the ways of Yahshua HaMashiach and following and obeying the teachings of the Most High Yah. Somebody's doing some lying, I'll let you make the choice. But before you get enraged, pissed off mad, make sure you go back and open your Bible up and flip them pages until you find that answer you are looking for. And I gave you all the answers and I also told you what is not in there. Seems like we got every church. Seems like we got a lot of these pool pimp pimps teaching that nonsense, not even in the Bible. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting in gun barrels straight.